welcome guys in this lecture of python programming series this is a special lecture and i'm going to teach you something special this topic was asked by several of my students and so i decided to make a complete video of, on this thing this is pretty simple the topic is mod operator with negative number so how modulus operator behaves with negative number now modulus operator is something which returns the remainder of a division i have got 7 and i have got 5 i am dividing 7 by 5 and i am expecting 2 as remainder because when you will divide 7 by 5 2 will be the remainder okay so it's working now the trickiest part comes when this number becomes negative let me copy paste this in another cell okay control v and now i am changing this 7 to minus 7 now what happens simple mathematics gives the answer as okay minus 2 but see here 3 is the answer so this is the trickiest part this is because in python modulus operator undergoes two operations internally let's see the theory part okay this is the formula it is pretty simple a minus a double slash b which is nothing but floor division and then into b now this floor division part is the actual culprit you can say here let's put my values here minus 7 a is minus 7 and again a is minus 7 now i'm doing floor division this double backslash is known as floor division then 5 into 5 and see what happens here shift enter okay so this is the answer this is 3 and this is the answer we are getting in previous okay so internally this mod operator undergoes these two operations floor division multiplication and this works equal for non-negative numbers as well it will work for non-negative numbers as well so this is the basic operation of modulus operator now the real problem is this with floor division what happens here in floor division if the number is negative then it tries to move away from zero like minus 3.5 will give four, minus 4 but if it is positive number if it is positive number then it will try to move towards zero so this was the basic of mod operator with negative numbers you have to only keep this thing in mind that you if you get this awkward result don't get confused this is the basic thank you hope you enjoyed this lecture and got something new meet you in next lecture thank you